So this technology is a system that allows us to hear if somebody has diabetes or not. Essentially identify people with diabetes through their voice. That might sound far-fetched, but ClickLab's vice president explains there is science to back it up. Diabetes in man results quite often to muscle weakness, and the muscle weakness would carry down all the way to the muscle that control the voice. On women, it's different. One of the features of diabetes is edema, where um, accumulation of fluid, and that changes the uh, frequency, the, the, the pitch of the voice, and that's due to the vocal cord swelling a little bit and being bigger. They were there this morning. Were they? Yeah. This team of scientists built an algorithm that can detect the small, subtle vocal changes caused by type 2 diabetes. You just grab your phone, speak in your phone, and then you get a diagnostic or a screening in a few seconds. We can now extract features of the voice that are so subtle and so complex that it would have taken years or decades of computer time before, and now we can do it overnight on a laptop. The researchers say they're encouraged by the algorithm's accuracy. Hello, how are you? What's my glucose level right now? We got 89% accuracy for women and 86% for men. Many people unknowingly live with the condition, according to BC Diabetes Medical Director Dr. Tom Elliott. Half the people with type 2 diabetes don't realize they've got it. And, and that's because diabetes doesn't have any symptoms for years. Elliot says even though it's still early days, it's not a test you can rely on. The technology's potential is exciting. If people aren't going to see their family doctor, if they're not getting tests done every five years for screening for diabetes, which is what's recommended, then it's, it's a whole lot better than nothing. Dr. Elliot hadn't heard of this technology before our interview, but now hopes to collaborate with the research team on future projects. Right now, the application is used for research purposes only, but Click Labs hopes to make it available for the general public once it gets approval from Health Canada. Catherine Ward, Global News.